and uh, hand it over to Yi and Kevin Sue. So, gentlemen, the stage is yours. Please tell us uh, a little bit more about uh, Flight and Ray. Uh, yeah, thank you, Martin. Uh, my name is Yi. I am uh, part of Union AI and uh, here to give a quick demo on the upcoming Ray task and uh, Kubray integration. Uh, this work is thanks to Kevin Sue, who this uh, meeting is a little late for. So I will be giving the demo in his stead. Um, but yeah, with that, um, uh, yeah, okay. So I was actually, you know what? Let me just, let's meet if you don't mind, I'm gonna share my screen. Go ahead. Step one, share, because it'll just be, yeah, okay, cool. Um, hide that. Sweet. Uh, okay, yeah, so this is uh, upcoming uh, Ray task. Uh, look for it in the upcoming 1.2 release, which I think we're slating for uh, hopefully around the end of, well, maybe like mid-September, maybe a little bit later. Um, this, if you, this is the high-level diagram. It looks pretty similar to the Spark task that some of you may be aware of. Um, so a new task configuration, uh, registration, everything happens as normal. When the flight engine hits it, um, it will launch a, a uh, Kubray CRD, and from there, the operator kind of takes over. Um, so a lot of people have been asking for uh, Ray integration, so uh, glad we finally got around to it. This is uh, hopefully going to solve a lot of problems. Um, I want to point out the we left some installation instructions in the slide deck. And the reason we did that is because this currently uses the cube ray job CRD. This CRD was not in 0 0.2. So you're going to have to upgrade to 0 0.3. Uh, 0 0.3 of ray was released um, last week, I believe. Um, so pull those changes. We had some minor hiccups with the Helm chart. So we uh, we found that just applying the uh, manifest directly worked a little bit better. From there, um, enable the Ray plugin as you normally would. Just a going to give a brief overview of how it would look. Um, pretty standard. This is actually in, mostly in the Flight Snacks Cookbook repo. I pulled it out into a separate thing just to isolate it. Um, we can upload this as well, make it public if people want. Um, standard normal Docker file, nothing you haven't seen in any of the other examples. And um, here, we the way the integration works is just the um, the bit that gathers the the features is the going to be the body of your array task. Um, and this makes it so that we can preserve like the vast functionality of of array. So. Um, like flight will not inter, inter, uh, intervene with um, the actual execution of the remote function here. Um, it's a little short for a demo, so I pre-ran the execution. Um, you can see, I mean, the, the, we just have a normal Python task and a, and a Ray task after it. Um, again, you can always, I don't think this example does it, but you can always use a different image for the Ray, for the Python task, then for the Ray task, um, there's examples in the documentation that uh, shows how to construct multi-image workflows. Um, and we wanted to make sure that the local story worked as well. So if you if you just have Ray code, um, or if you just have a normal task that you want to run some Ray code through, um, if you use init um, here, and then you point it at an existing Ray cluster, it will also work. We, I don't have a Ray cluster up and running, so we actually just changed the, um, uh, we made the, the other, the first example, uh, not destroy the cluster on, um, on exit. So you can still, you can still make use of it and connect to it and port forward it. But um, consider this to be a, uh, like a corporate uh, persistent Ray cluster that you have access to. Um, that's just a, show that we were kind of uh, like preserving the, the normal Ray execution and the workflow as much as possible. Um, yeah, that is it for the quick demo. 
if there are no other questions. Oh, yeah, I think actually, let me go back to this slide. Um, uh, this currently uses the, the Kubernetes job CRD. I think we're also playing around with um, uh, flight managing the head node instead. Um, and then we're also trying to see if there's a use case for Ray cluster reuse. Um, uh, assuming we get this part of it nailed down, um, it, hopefully that's something that we can work on later this year. So if you guys have any feedback or questions, um, opinions on the UX, please let me, Kevin or anyone else in the channel know. So thank you.